Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jean, and this is going to be a collective reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let's see what's happening. That was a rune I drew to help us get the vibes. Uh, consider checking out my light language channel, my pick a card channel, if that's something that resonates. The topics there and the information that comes through on the pick a cards are always so nice for me, so interesting and so like, yeah. So go check that out. I would love to have you there. It's in the description box down below, by the way. Um, so yes. What's happening for this collective? I feel something by my solar plexus. Somebody's trying to attach. Um, Ace of Pentacles. Look at you. Uh, Ace of Swords reverse. Uh-huh. The Two of Pentacles reverse. Uh-huh. And the Six of Cups. Okay. You know what I'm getting here? I'm getting that since childhood... You were never, ever, ever able to feel safe, secure, grounded, protected. Um, I'm even hearing fed or loved or something like that, okay? Like, it was almost like since childhood, you were always in this energy of needing to, uh, like, defend yourself or, like, worry about your stability or worry about your home or worry about just shit that a child shouldn't be worried about, Yeah. I feel like, however, and I feel like this was happening because there was, like, a lot of, like, gaslighting happening to you, 144, a lot of gaslighting, a lot of unnecessary um, emotional and mental uh, responsibilities put on you and shit like that. Like, you never had the ability to be an actual child. You always had to juggle grown-up things. Um, I feel like that's about to come to some kind of very, very beautiful end, okay? Because I feel like you stepped up for your inner child. Three of Swords Reverse, wow. Uh, you stepped up for your inner child and you healed that shit, okay? And now you are about to be experiencing some kind of very beautiful... Um, Ten of Cups, I'm seeing twice now. Some kind of very beautiful, uh, happy, happy life and this life is i'm hearing home and hearth so like you're gonna have some kind of sanctuary or you're gonna have some kind of something like that okay you might even be manifesting a new home or your own piece of land or something like that okay i'm even hearing maybe with somebody like maybe with a soul partner or something like that which is what the six of cups is about as well so beautiful six of swords as well some of you might be traveling somewhere okay um in order to be in this home the sun isn't saying that as well you're about to be very happy emperor as well you're about to be very happy and i feel like this like i like i'm, I'm even getting somebody start to almost cry a little bit um, because like, I don't know, you know how, like wh when you're like done, when you're like done with, uh, with a certain kind of healing or something like that, like your body tends to like start releasing the actual energies and then you have like crying fits or laughing fits or, you know, like we all release trauma in our own kind of way. I feel like you've been in such an intense, like, uh, fight or flight, uh, since childhood that like your body, everything in your life is about to, um, I don't want to say come crumbling down, but yes, like I feel like all the deceptions and lies in your life is coming crumbling down. And it's because you're finally in this like uh, beautiful energy within yourself. Like you even like carried, like you, you mothered yourself and fathered yourself in, to such an extent that I'm getting at some point you even were like pregnant with yourself or some shit like that. Uh, that might be significant for somebody, okay? Uh, so we have the Prince of Cups reverse, and we have the Five of Pentacles. Like, I feel like you had nobody to rely on, like, since childhood. Like, like, you came out of the wound, and then you were, you came out of the wound right into the cold, or something like that, right? And, like, you had nobody to rely on, on, a, on an emotional or spiritual level. You had nobody to rely on in regards to uh, being taught the correct way to heal, or something like that. I mean, isn't that the case for most of us, though? Um, because not everybody knows how to heal. Most people don't know how to heal, right? But, um, like, since childhood, you had to, like, endure that kind of energy... 
And I feel like you finally fixed that. I feel like there might have been something done to your actual root chakra and also your uh your crown chakra, but I feel like you're fixing you fixed the root chakra and now that your root chakra is fixed, I feel like your crown chakra is even about to start um exploding with with I'm hearing like new earth ideas. That's interesting. Prince of Swords Reverse, beautiful. There is no more chaos going to be entering your life. Temperance, as I'm saying that, okay? I feel like, I feel like you have come to this, to this point in your life where you are so, um, like you're so safe in the knowledge of yourself. You're so safe in, uh, feeling safe with yourself because of this, like, self-parenting that you did. Like, you know you've got your own back to such an extent that there's literally nothing that can shake you anymore. Like, I'm getting this Prince of Swords, like, coming and trying to, like, cut you down or something again, but, like, your roots grow too, too, too deep, okay? So, enjoy this. Your, your life is about to change in a way that, um is going to make your inner child, like, you're about to live some kind of, like, maybe even a dream, okay, with this new beginning, some, some dream that your inner child has always wanted, okay, like, you're finally, you're, you're finally able to take your inner child away from something, um, something like that, you know, like, you're able to run away now, or something like that, wow, thank you so much, collective, that was your reading, please do consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you again for another one, Set number.